So hi guys, welcome back to the channel on today's debate slash discussion, I guess. We're hoping it's not going to get too heated, but it probably will, <laughs> is who is, do we think will be the best leader for the new Avengers, I guess. So, Emily, would you like to... Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so I guess the next two Avengers movies we're going to get is Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars and I sort of get the feeling that Kang Dynasty is not going to really bring in a lot of Marvel characters, a lot of different Marvel characters, but Secret Wars is going to be like the bigger one out of the two, so I'm just going to be pretty much basing it for that one, because so I think that one will have the like the leader will be set by then so, I mean to be honest, I, th I think there's just so many different groups that appear in all of these movies and I think for Secret Wars what's going to happen is that all of these different groups are going to work together to defeat whoever the villain is I'm not really sure who that is and there's not going to just be like one main leader but in each like different group there'll be a leader so something sort of like the Illuminati like because you know there was like a few different people leading each you know like Professor Charles leading all the mutants and Black Bolt was leading all the Inhumans, so sort of something like something like that. So because you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, like Star Lord, will be leading the X Men, and the, from the Fox franchise, like you know, Professor X will be leading Fantastic Four, Mister Fantastic, and da 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 da. I mean, there's so so many different groups. So I think I I don't know. There, there were quite a few people I thought you know that would make a good choice for like being the next leader like you know the falcon i mean it sort of makes sense the hulk also possible at this stage because he's really different he's advanced and then you got thor as well and hawkeye and war machine um i'm sort of put off by saying thor <laughs> like ages ago <laughs> i would have said thor yes thor could have done it but after thor 4 like i, I don't know anymore I, I think, personally, I think what they will do is they'll go with the Falcon. But I really think it'll be good if it was War Machine. I really feel like if it was Rhodey, I feel like that would be good. Because Rhodey hasn't had much screen time. Like, he's been there since 2008, and we've barely seen him. Which is why I like the idea that we're going to get Armor Wars. So I think it would be great if we actually got to see him take on a bigger role. And then the Hulk, well, I feel like they just ruined the Hulk, so... Mm. I, just, I just don't even know Hawkeye I think Hawkeye would be quite a cool one as well but I think you know I think what would happen is it'll probably be Rhodey taking sort of the place of Iron Man and the Falcon taking sort of the old Captain America's place so but personally I sort of feel like Rhodey would be a really cool choice out of all of the ones I said yeah <clears throat> um okay I'll go I'll go next um so my first option was definitely going to be Sam because I thought now he's the new Captain America. I I could see him being a very good um leader in in the next Avengers. He's got he's got good teamwork. He's um he, and he's working um he's working the uh, army or was it Air Force? I can't remember. Some sort of military definitely... background. Yeah. Okay, but he's definitely yeah definitely have that background. So I think he kind of understands um war about and just knows about like um participating so i think he'd be a very good um option i think he'd be a really good leader definitely especially in a bigger group um my next one and don't laugh but if it comes in time i could see spider-man as a good like avengers leader because i think because we've seen in um no way home he uh he brought those two spider-mans together and worked as a team he knows where and if in case um mcu has brought will bring um the young avengers into the mcu with all the members i can see spider-man because he he started out a, as a young avenger really and now we can see him growing up to become a really great member of the team so that'd be a good um story arc for him from being a young kid to being a great leader and uh, my last one, and I put a lot of thought to it. I thought mm, maybe Captain Marvel would be quite good. It depends on the Marvel's films, because if she did, uh, if she became like a leader in um with uh, Miss Marvel and um Monica, then um I could see how maybe she could try to um become a leader in the Avengers. So, and she is a powerful, like uh, powerful per 
person. So uh, maybe she could take a, a bigger lead because we only see in one solo film. So be interesting if we s- expand her um, character arc. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of rumours that Spider-Man would be taking the lead, but I think mm-hmm. loads of people have said that's not happening anymore. I know I he know, might be I, too... I feel like... I feel like... I mean, I would like to see it because I was just watching Spider-Man animated show and he's become the leader of, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but he's become the leader of some other Marvel characters that we know of. And I thought that was really cool. But I don't know if he's ready at this stage to take on the leadership role. But I feel like eventually at some point, like maybe yeah. maybe not Secret Wars, but maybe whatever the next one's after that. Who knows yeah. what that is? Because maybe then he'd be, you know, a bit more... Because so far, this is this is what I'm not been liking about the MCU Spider-Man is that he's just he's having to be very dependent on other characters but I feel like after No Way Home we're going to see a new side to him and he's going to be out out there on his own no help whatsoever and that's what I'd really like to see so I feel like when that happens we'll see a much more like grown up Peter yeah and that will give him a lot of leadership thoughts and you know, ideas yeah. and stuff because he will he will get to see the other side as well. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, I agree, I agree. Because uh, now you brought up the animation um show, and um, there was another um animation show show called um Ultimate Spider Man, which is I think um it's sort of like um Marvel MCU. I'm not sure how to explain it, but um he in that show he was actually part of a team with like many um young like heroes, but um he was a leader then. He part. And he actually did really good. I, I haven't seen the show, but I've seen a few episodes. And yeah, I mean, I can imagine doing something like that with um the next Avengers. Yeah. And then about Captain Marvel. I just feel like she's a separate, she's not an Avenger. I feel like she's separate. Yeah. That, that's I the feeling I'm getting. Like she's more into the whole space thing. Whereas the Avengers are going to be people that are actually on Earth. That's the feeling I get. So... But I thought I should be the leader of whatever Marvel's team she's gonna <laughs> create, yeah. if she is or whatever. So, anyways, um, I agree with Sam. I quite like how they've set him up and how they've kind of put him in that position. So I do feel like it's giving him the moment that he deserves and stuff. Um, again, I agree again that War Machine. Um, we do need to see more of him. So even if it's just kind of like helping Sam get the ropes and stuff because obviously he helped Iron Man was pretty much Iron Man's second and stuff like that helping him get the ropes you know helping him show what it's like to lead and get everyone on track that would be really nice as well kind of seeing like the minor characters come to the light Grace I agree Spider-Man could be very very (laughs) cool obviously even if it's just for like the younger ones you know just kind of like being a leader for them and like helping them out as well getting the ropes I would love, obviously this is never going to happen, but imagine Wanda, you know, coming back from her, like, her bad era, you know, she's coming back, she wants to do good. I know it kind of happens in the comics where she, like, leads the younger ones and kind of, like, guides her sons into, like, a better outlook of life and stuff like that. So seeing that could be very, very, very cool. And then she's kind of gone through all of the stages. Um but yeah, I don't think there's anyone solidly. I think Sam, the way they've set it up, it will probably be that way. And I'm not mad about it. I, I think it's very cool. So yeah, that's that's my input, I guess. Seems like we're all thinking it's going to be Sam. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they surprise us. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, you know? Yeah. But not not a bad surprise. Not like... <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, I, ne- I never you see Wanda as like the men like as a leader of the Avengers but I can see her maybe as a maybe a mentor or maybe a new leader for like another team perhaps just kind of a guide like obviously she's been like misled she's had her villain era she's kind of done everything that wasn't meant to do so her guiding the kids into like the good way would be the perfect mentor for that you know yeah maybe she and Bucky could work together I feel like that, that, that would be, cool. be that you know, I was just thinking, I was, I could see her, she, um, Doctor Strange and Loki as the magical two, three. And Wong. Cause... And Wong. Oh, yeah. Don't forget Wong. Wong. And Wong. <laughs> Wong's yeah, got his own thing. 
scrap all of it. Wong is the leader of the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I really hope That's they're it. doing that Wong TV show. Like that would. That would just be great. Yeah. Is there anybody that you don't want to see leaked? Maybe. Um, who I don't want to see lead. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to say don't like. If I'm gonna say, I don't want to make it in a harsh way. Like I don't hate them. I just can't. I see know, but some some people aren't meant to be leaders. So simply like, like that. Doctor Strange. I mean, he's alright, but I can't see him leading. Uh, but I don't think Doctor Strange would is in is is an Avenger though. He's part of the Mystic Arts group. Mm. So, but like, what about Kate Bishop? Because I know she's quite young, and I can see her like as a very great member. But like Hawker, I don't think she's a leader in a way. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, there's still Hawkeye's slot, you know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see her as like a very valuable member of the group, mm-hmm. just not at the high rank for some reason. Yeah, and not not at this level anyway, because yeah. it's still quite early on. Yeah, but like, 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 if it becomes to like to like become like. Secret Wars or um Kang Dynasty, just something like that. Um, yeah. could you see Shuri as or like the Black no. Panther? No, I haven't watched it, so do I need to mute before you guys carry on with this? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. Ex- I'm not gonna talk much about the film. I'm just. No, I think I think I think everybody from Wakanda will just. They're, they're not Avengers. Yeah. What happens I, I think... if Wakanda stays in Wakanda? Guys? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there just has to be sort of some sort of like divisions. Otherwise, it just it becomes so complicated. Like I feel like that's one of the things that made like you know after Avengers three and four, like everybody's like who's an Avenger, who's not an Avenger. Yeah. Because it was just it was all over the place. It blended yeah. a lot, and there wasn't yeah. really you couldn't tell anyone. So like, if Vision was still alive, Vision would have made like made a good leader would he i think so yeah 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 i mean i could see as like um like the wise guy of the group but i just, i don't know i just mm. <clears throat> I, I get what you mean like maybe he'd be too like if i look back at civil war it's like like i could see when he was talking about like um chaos and destruction i could see him like trying to keep it steady i couldn't i can't see in like master planning like battles and wars or everything but that's the thing do you want someone that's gonna like take a risk do you want someone to like come up with the strategies or i guess that's the sort of thing that you'd have to think about like what sort of person would you want i think vision vision does like not like do what he's told but he just i think he just works better when he's being instructed and like I don't think he's the one that gives out instructions. I think he's just the ones that give out information and facts. <laughs> oh, fair enough. I, I feel like he would make a cool leader. I feel like uh, I feel like because his sense of morality is very different. Hmm. Like you, you just can't predict because he's he's just very different to all the other characters. I mean, everybody else is human, and he's he's not human. Hmm. So you know, okay. But may, maybe that's scary though. That thought that you just don't know yeah. what on earth is he gonna say. Exactly. And yeah. there'll be another civil war. <laughs> <laughs> Could you see Bucky? Because I know Emily, you wanted him to become the new Captain America. Mm-hmm. But could you see Check Bucky? Check out that debate, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought about it, but I thought he's I mean, Thunderbolt, I I don't think he's gonna be the leader, but I feel like he would have a bit more of a leadership role in that. But yeah, I did think that he would make a good leader. I feel, I feel like that would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I can see it. But I don't know. I feel, I feel like the MCU are kind of like, I don't know. You just, I just get the feeling that you know, after, after, um, Secret Wars or something, he's, he's gonna, that's it for him. He's probably gonna go retire or, who you knows, someone might like, kill him or something. I, I just get that feeling like we're, we're gonna, not we'll see, that, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> seeing the end of him soon I just I don't know just get that feeling. okay well thank you guys for watching um please check out all the videos we mentioned before about whether um Bucky should have been the new Captain America or check out our 
should Captain America is it are you on Captain America's team or Iron Man's team? Our debate that we posted years ago. Please check that out. Um, but before you leave, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on who should be the next leader of the Avengers. Should it be um um I uh, what was it? War Machine? Sorry, War Machine, um, Spider-Man, Wonder. Tell us down below and um, check out our more videos on our channel. We do debates, reviews, reactions on Marvel, Disney, the whole kind. Check them out, guys. Come on. And um, follow us on Twitter, Instagram. If you do, we will follow you back. That's a promise. And check out our website, tell us information about us and the whole team. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye.